Lunara, and the Zebo for the loose. Of eternity. I always get the shit. What would you do to fix the snowball in nature of the current meta? Well, you could change all the heroes that are late game to make them better early. Seems a bit r rough. You could reverse the regen globe change and then see how does the laning uh, minion and ammunition thing change by itself. You could weaken globes that drop from the opponent that turn into purple color that you pick up, make them 50% as good. You could weaken all globes Lots of things that you could do. I'm not sure what you should do. I stand ready. Cheers, love. The cavalry's here. Tracer Tassadar again. Can you pick Li Ming? Yeah, I've been picking Li Ming a bunch of times in Battlefield of Eternity, and I think against Tracer it's pretty okay as well. A little bit rougher against Tracer Greyman, I suppose. Uh, I think Arthas is a good choice against both. I could do Artanas to blind them, but I think Artanas gets destroyed by Tracer. Actually, Godslow is pretty good against this as well. No kidding. Uh, I need a serious answer. You as a streamer play much in your day. Is gaming an addiction? Gaming is an addiction. Just like life. Thank you for the clapping. Hey, I thought it was profound too. Could you explain what conditions should be met for you to happily take Harrigan? I used to play her a lot but haven't for many seasons now and don't feel confident oh, enough to know when she's good anymore she's worse against warriors and better against squish look at the ratio of warriors versus squish secondly she's worse against burst protect than against sustain protect and she's worse against anti-dive so diva twilight dream d shield Crystal Aegis are tough to deal with. ETC, Arthas, tough to deal with. But any assassin and any sustained support is fine. So you can usually pick her, but there are some uh, yeah exceptions. As for the question, is gaming an addiction? Yes, it can be. And if I wouldn't have my livelihood out of gaming, I would probably have a small gaming addiction while trying to be successful at other things in life. Instead, I have the perfect excuse to play games all day because uh, we're making a difference in other people's lives with entertainment. And I was raised on games. I started playing when I was four. Uh, or, or younger, I don't remember. Who knows what I was doing? I could have been tap dancing and I wouldn't remember. But, uh, actually, you can't just say, is activity A an addiction, yes or no? I bet that uh, Ronaldo was addicted to football. And uh, Djokovic is probably addicted to tennis. Everyone who's been the best at the world at something is a little crazy. Because why did you go on when everyone else gave up? That's a little crazy. Why do you keep hitting a tennis ball against the wall for six hours straight when all your friends are watching movies or dating girls? It's a little crazy, a little weird, a little bit of addictive behavior. But if you know it's right and you have an ambition and a dream and you can fulfill it... I hope you're ready. 
And maybe it helps you to deal with uh, the scary life that is. Maybe gaming is your uh, grounding place where you find yourself and enjoy yourself. It really depends from every single person to other person whether something is start. becoming problematic or not. Ten seconds. Five, four, Greetings, three, friend. two, one. I only begin. get frost presents these days. <laughs> this world will end. Right, Ashiri? I was counting on a dodge. Zoned out of the globe. That's the goal. Feed me your rage. At long last. friend thank you for the sub this world will end Even though we lost um, a hero, my XP soak is 1800 and his is 1200, so um, we actually are ahead in XP based on that. Because of the zoning. Oh, you've unlocked a talent. The sub baby is here less than three. Thank you. There is no escape for you but death, Angel. Justice of the grave. This world will end. I was a little bit out of mana, so I couldn't be threatening enough. That Howling Blast that I missed was... Uh, that actually made the difference. If I wait with my Howling Blast and I hit a more impactful one, we actually win this Immortal, which would have been pretty cool. Oh, man. A little bit better Howling Blast.
the this announcer is Jaina. The root on ETC saved me, otherwise he would have face melted me in. Whoa, the vault forwards! Oops. What? The enemy just took down a fort. Select a talent. Thanks, Lucio. Grrr. So be it. Lucio and Medif. Disengage extraordinaire. Oh wow. Nice bolt. We can get more. Oh. Mistake because um, if I stay mounted, if I stay mounted, oh dear, did someone just leave the battle? A hero has returned to the fight. I could gain a little bit more distance. I must teach this fool a lesson. We uh, close the XP gap a bit, which is nice. We have to set up for the Immortal. <clears throat> they're going to get level 10 before us. And they're probably doing their Fallen Bruiser right now. Okay, this is aggressive positioning, so we have to attack. Otherwise, I would have gone for the wave. We're actually damaging it faster because they were busy on the Bruiser. Awkward. Yeah, we might just have to fight. I think we can win the follow-up fight. They're not 10 yet. Ah, bad Howling Blast. I had so many juicy targets that I couldn't choose. Ah, who said who said defend our immortal? The call was well, my call was. Doesn't mean they have to follow, of course. But it was a bad choice. Select a talent. That was a bad choice by Valla. Uh, probably people are trying Nazebo in quick match furniture man because uh, he got changes. I'm gonna go for army. Just lost a fort. Of the grave. You fought well. 
Oh, couldn't get the kill on time. When I heard Grey Man top, I just went for it. I expected we'll go for it and try to get a kill. And we did try, but we failed. No shame in trying, though. Voila, dropped again. Oh dear, did someone just leave the battle? A hero has returned to the fight. It's back now. Okay. Vala must be lagging or something. Yep. Three disconnects, and even when she was a player, made some uh, funky mistakes. We might not lose the game yet, though. But we're pretty far behind. I don't know if we should force on our bruiser. I think we can. We have outs. Just create a bit of space on the map, you know. Once we have 13, we have to force again. That, that was so good. See? We can do this. They messed up. You want to defend, but you don't just want to stand there and say hello. Shattered armor. Get him, Vala. Yes, good job. Nice comeback. I'm gonna defend core. I need mana anyway. We need to go with it though. This needs to be good. We need to get some additional uh, kills or something. I shall crush all you hold dear, angels. Need to man mode. that ley line mush I will find no rest until the light of heaven is extinguished
Just never use it until they use Marsh, as a rule. That's how to play it. Okay. No, 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 no. They disappeared from the map. I have to... Okay. Fala way too far out. Huge blunder, because... He recognizes it. But it is his fault, but he's not doing it on purpose. We're gonna lose a keep for that. We saw all of them, so you can't be out there in the gate. Um, get embrace there. Nearly got uh, Medivh. Nice. That's unfair. He already said my bad. Mature response by Vala doesn't get bogged down in uh, petty squabbles. We have a little bit more time. Now the challenge is clearing without dying. Only the catapults really matter. They're attacking your core. Look out. The angel could not stop me. None of you can. Yeah, Vala won against Tracer. Oh no, your core is under attack. Your efforts are futile. Justice. A strategic victory. Go for the keep. We still have uh, Immortal. Bring this clutch to the enemy's core. We need this keep. He's gonna mush. Bring down those keeps. And we are closer to twenty. For my return, heroes, the angel will fall once more. We need we get twenty first and then we aggro again. <sighs> they can still like go for core and ley line or mush to buy time or something. At long last. Assist me, servant. Yeah, we weren't 20 yet, but our trickle XP will give it to us in one second. Your efforts are Time to futile. choose a talent. Legion of Northrend. We need to clear those katas, but we do need a fight. So be it. 
dodge Medivh, he's both right. To my aid. On your guard, heroes. The unending war moves toward you. How? So be it. Curse bullet down for a bit. Early clear on the mercs. Fight, what a fight! Amazing. <sighs> wow. Exciting though. Oh no, your core is under attack. Tried, 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 tried. Uh I could have hit more howling blast in that final fight. That was sick though. It's cool to nearly make a comeback. Really Really cool, considering how far behind we were. You and me we did some great fights. Yeah. Does Arthas have multiple viable builds? I tend to always go for your current build. Yeah, I do the same. I don't know. I, yeah, I think he has some different builds. Like, you can go Rhyme at one, the block. You can go Icy Talents. I think Icebound Fortitude is too good, but you could, in theory, go Rune Tap with Icy Talents. Um, at 13, you could do for E damage. I prefer to play off the team and allow Shattered Armor to help the team deal more damage. At 16, you could go Remorseless Winter, which is the roots. Really not bad. Might have even been good this game. But Embrace Death allows you to heal yourself more when you drop low, and it's very valuable. And at 20, you could go Anti-Magic Shell. I went for Legion of Northrend. It offers so much extra damage and healing that, uh, that I went for it. In the end, I would say a quality game, one of the better losses we've had, so... Hi, YouTube! Most pros take Embrace Death these days, not Remorseless Winter. Do maps on two lane maps give more XP? Do minions on two lane maps give more XP than on three lane? I don't think so, but I heard that Tomb of the Spider Queen minions give fewer XP. Yeah, I think you played pretty well, Makil. You, you said I'm on YouTube, Poggers. <laughs> I think you played pretty well. Generally, against the ETC, it's the goal to keep Waver Force for as long as possible, just to stop Marsh. Except when you can use it to confirm a kill, and that's the really difficult part. But you had low death count, two deaths, top damage, and you're against, you're pressured by Medivh, Tracer, and uh, Greymane, so I think you held your own well. And we're on the same game again. Oh my god, Pork! 